Fatty liver, or more correctly, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, is just what you'd imagine from its name. It is the accumulation of fat in your liver that is not caused by drinking alcohol. It is considered the most common liver disease in Western societies. It is closely linked to insulin resistance, which is a common barrier to weight loss, and most people have no idea that they have it. The reality is if you carry a lot of belly fat, you have trouble losing weight, and you are a regular soda drinker or you eat a lot of sugar and refined carbs, there's a good chance that you have some degree of this metabolic issue. In this video, I'll explain how to tell if you have fatty liver and how to fix it. The liver is very important for an efficiently running metabolism, but we also think of it as the detoxifying organ. So when something is inflammatory or potentially damaging to your body, your liver is the organ that filters and removes those harmful compounds. So when we do things to our body like feed them processed foods full of unnatural chemicals and we create inflammatory states due to poor eating or weight gain, it is the liver that takes the brunt of that abuse. Uh, and I often say that you cannot outrun the metabolic effects of a poor diet and developing a fatty liver is certainly one of those hidden metabolic effects that is caused by a poor diet. And unfortunately, it is even showing up in children. In fact, according to Boston Children's Hospital website, it affects approximately 10% of our kids. And if it's not caught early, it silently progresses in both kids and adults into Inflam uh, an inflammatory state called NASH or non-alcoholic steatohepatitis which can lead to scarring or cirrhosis of the liver and at that point the condition is no longer reversible and according to Dr. Julie Heimball who is a liver transplant surgeon at Mayo Clinic it is one of the most quickly rising indications for liver transplant in the United States. In other words, fatty liver is a problem that is caused by eating or drinking the wrong things, and if caught early enough, it is a condition that is cured by consuming the right things. So how does a fatty liver develop? Well, a fatty liver results when your liver takes nutrients from your diet and makes fat through a process called de novo lipogenesis. Now, de, de novo means from new, the prefix lipo means uh, fat, and the term genesis means beginning or making. So we are literally looking at the making of fat from new things. In other words, things other than the fat we eat. And that's the surprising part, right? Because logic would tell us that eating too much fat would cause the liver to store excess fat. Instead, what we see is that lipogenesis is driven by sugar and more importantly, fructose in the diet. And this could explain why the disease is so common in children because one of the main sources of fructose in the standard American diet is high fructose corn syrup, which is found in regular soda. So kids and adults who drink a lot of soda have a high risk of developing fatty liver. Now, of course, soda is not the only culprit. Uh, refined carbs and sugar, uh, which would be what I refer to as the three C's, your cookies, cakes, and candies, are also to blame, as are starchy carbs like pasta, breads, uh, bagels, muffins, because all of these foods break down into sugar in your body, and they feed that fat-making factory in your liver. And the effect of a high-carb diet uh, does not take long to show up. Uh, in this study, overweight individuals who were fed a high caloric high sugar diet for three weeks had a 27 percent increase in liver fat and even being overweight contributes to fatty liver so we get this vicious loop that develops where we see inflammation increase in the body uh, which contributes to insulin resistance and then the likelihood that fat is going to be deposited in the belly which creates more inflammation and more damage so how do you know if you have a fatty liver? Well, the challenge is that symptoms are not easy to detect and damage is often done before the disorder is discovered. Now, if you uh, are concerned that you have a fatty liver, there are some tests that your doctor can run um, to get a diagnosis. For instance, fatty liver is associated with elevated liver enzymes, which can be detected in your blood, and evidence of fatty liver can be detected using ultrasound um, and a CAT scan as well. But 
Really, if you have the risk factors, which include carrying a lot of belly fat, uh, you eat a lot of sugar or refined carbs, or you drink a lot of soda or sweetened drinks, you are likely headed down the path to a fatty liver. So that brings us to what to do about it. Well, we learned that the cause is a poor diet, but that also means it can be reversed by diet, at least in its early stages. So let's go over some diet exercise and supplement solutions that can help. As for diet, you'll start seeing results if you cut out soda and drinks uh, sweetened with high fructose corn syrup or sugar, which is one of the quickest paths to a fatty liver. A healthy choice instead is green tea or tea made with uh, milk thistle. Both of them have been shown to be beneficial choices for liver health. Uh, you can also cut out refined carbs and eat a low carb diet. Carbohydrates are actually a non-essential nutrient, meaning your body can make the building blocks of carbs if they're not coming in through the diet. So if you're facing a diagnosis of a fatty liver, you'll do best to look at non-starchy vegetables as your dietary carbohydrate source uh, because they have the best nutrient to calorie ratio. Um, in fact, getting those non-starchy vegetables in your diet is what I teach you how to do in my free 0123 strategy, which is a great way to jumpstart your healthy weight loss plan. And when you cut out refined and starchy carbs like pasta, bread, and bagels, don't be afraid to replace those carbs with high quality fatty foods and oils, which are great for hunger control. And of course, this low carb, high fat diet will improve your insulin sensitivity and help you lose weight, particularly belly fat, which is that dangerous fat that keeps you locked in the vicious cycle that I spoke about earlier. You can also exercise to improve insulin sensitivity and all forms, whether low intensity like walking when you do it regularly or high intensity like sprints or weightlifting have been shown to be beneficial. There are also spices and supplements that you can add, um, including turmeric, which is a spice that you can use for cooking. Uh, Omega-3 fatty acids, which um, can come from fatty fish or from a capsule. Uh, apple cider vinegar is also something to consider. Uh, on my second YouTube channel that I run with my husband, we share how apple cider vinegar improves insulin sensitivity. And I will link to that video. It is certainly something to look into if you're looking for an inexpensive and easily available solution. Um, and one last supplement that is definitely worth mentioning is berberine, which is a supplement that can help to lower blood sugar and improve fatty liver disease. In this study, 184 participants with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease were split into three groups. Each group received diet and exercise interventions. One group received only those interventions. The second was also given a prescription drug, and the third was given a, the supplement berberine. The participants taking the berberine supplement outperformed the other groups and had significant reduction in liver fat and the most weight loss. Um, I'll say that my husband, who is somewhat insulin resistant, takes this brand of berberine, which you can find on our Amazon affiliate shop, and I will provide a link in the description area below. Uh, but of course, as I always say, supplements are called supplements for a reason because they are intended to supplement a healthy diet. They are not magic pills. So you do have to get your diet on track first and a good low carb diet is the way to go for fixing a fatty liver. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will be back real soon with another video to help you reach your goal. Thanks.